Hello everyone, this is Carlos Lopez, uh, Assistant Professor of Biochemistry at Vanderbilt University, and this is my new life. So I've traded my fancy office for this couch and uh, these pillows, which are not very pretty, but you know, they're comfortable. And, um, and my computer, and this is, this is pretty much it. And this is how I spend my day. But the cool thing about being in isolation is that I can come and, where's Nadia? I can come and say hi to my wife and kids. Hello wife, hello kids, and they're eating. And I can say hi to my dog. Come here, come here Nadia, come here. And this is what we do during COVID. So if anyone needs to come and pet a dog, you know, you can, you can come and pet her through the window or something. Uh, say hi, say hi. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're hanging in there, bye-bye. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I am working from home here at Murray House on the Commons. It's a beautiful day, so I will try to spend some time outside today. I just wanted to say that I have had um, some wonderful opportunities to talk to undergraduate students, graduate students, and faculty members over the past month. And one of the things that I've noticed is that in contrast to other things that individuals in these groups have in common, such as um, exams, qualifying exams, or tenure and promotion, where the experience is fairly similar, that our responses to this COVID crisis are really vastly different from one person to the next, with some people not sleeping well or not eating well or not getting the exercise that they want, some living at home and feeling more of a burden of loneliness while others are have more family members around than they've ever been used to. Some of you actually are finding it hard to be motivated and to find things to, to keep busy with. And others are busier than ever with, with multiple additional responsibilities now. So I would just encourage all of you to try to show grace to others um, and understand that they may experience this differently than you do. And especially to show grace to yourself during this time and, and to just hang in there. I really look forward to catching up with everyone again. I can't wait to see all of my lab members and to be able to interact with all of you in person. Take care. Oh, hi, we're just wrapping up our lab meeting here. <laughs> uh, look forward to having lab meetings with you again really soon and seeing all of you on campus. Looking forward to getting back to seminars and things, but until then, I hope you're staying safe and well and uh, being productive in your own ways and uh, look forward to seeing you on Zoom at some point until then. Hey everybody, I hope you're all staying well and not suffering too much from cabin fever. Um, here's a few clips of things you can do to entertain yourselves over the next couple. So hi, so get outside, do some exercise, it's great, cycling, walking, running, it's good for you. So now's a great time to brush up on your MATLAB skills, or R or Python, um, lots of things you can... Uh, and well it's raining go running have fun hi everybody john york and lindy here lindy's named after rosalind franklin and uh, we appreciate all the efforts that you've been doing to keep vanderbilt and the community of nashville safe uh, we are in uh, isolation here at the york house trying to do our part and uh, also uh, Lindy really encourages you to be safe and um, do your part and continue to do so. We thank you. This will be over soon and we'll come back stronger together. Cheers. Hey everybody, this is Matt Tiska. I'm a professor of cell and development of biology. Um, my lab is currently closed down due to the hiatus. Uh, doing lots of Zoom meetings. Uh, we moved all of our work into the digital domain. A lot of data analysis and writing going on. Um, one thing I would say uh, is critical for me in terms of remaining productive is really minimizing the number of distractions.
That's right. Minimizing the number of distractions is really uh, important for trying to remain productive in in the home office environment. That's all for me. I uh, hope that everyone is, is healthy and I hope to see everyone back on campus in uh, the not so distant future. Take care.